What's up everybody? So today we're gonna get into part two of the review that I'm doing for Degarn X from Good Smile. So I'm not gonna waste any time. This is gonna be a long one, so let's go. Okay, so next we're going to uh, put him into Degarn Jet Mode. So this is pretty, pretty simple. So what we're going to do first is we're gonna take the Degarn, the Earth Fighter here. We're gonna push this back up like that there. I'm gonna take this part here and push this back down. I'll actually be doing something with that a little later. And then uh, that should be good for now. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna take his legs. This is the back part, remember? And so what we're going to do here, let me take this part. I'm gonna take this, move this back up, all right? And then that actually clamps to the back just like that. So you got it like this. And then what we're gonna do, let me move his arms out of the way so you can see this. So this is a little hinge here. And then what you can do is actually take this and push this up. Now this is a pretty tight uh, mechanism there, but you actually take that and go like that. I'm gonna make it straight. Just like that, and then actually we're gonna push this up. So what we're gonna do, push that up just like that. It goes like that with the both sides. And then there's a little clip here, and that clip goes into this spot here. So take that, boom, push that in just like that. And then that is how he will be set up. Now, you're gonna take this back piece here, okay? And then that's actually gonna go into a spot right in here. It's kind of hard to see because of my lighting here, but there is a little piece in here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and push that in here and it should just lock into place here. Let's see if I can get this to work. All right, I think I got it in there. There, I think I got that, okay. Yeah, it's in there. So, and then actually you can put this on the stand if you like. And what you will do is, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece back out and you're gonna clamp this down. The guard, you're gonna clamp him on the top just like we did before. So you can either have him this way Put that into the sides there, okay. Just like that. And that pretty much is the Garn Jet. This is kind of like his transportation mode with all three of his, his units there. So that's what you've got. You also can have Degarn standing up if you'd like for him to do that. And then actually, there's actually a piece I forgot. And what it is, it's right in here and is let me move this up let me pull that out so what happens is there's actually a little clip right here and then that actually can rest on there so you can kind of put that in there i can get the to line up there a little bit there we go boom like that and then as you saw that came out <laughs> but we can put that back in there so all right, and then what I've actually noticed about this back piece here, there's actually a little clip that kind of like his chest piece rests and it's in this little hole here or slot there. But I've noticed that that doesn't like to rest in there, but you know, it, you can kind of get it in there and it'll work. You can kind of finagle it just due to the light and stuff. It may be a little bit harder for me to, to see it, but uh, you can kind of go and just kind of have it in there. And so that's actually how it's supposed to look. And then what you can do, you can actually put that on a stand and then the stand will probably go here. And I think there's a spot here. So I'm actually not gonna put the stand on there, but uh, that's pretty much it for the Degarn jet. So now we will actually transform him into Degarn. 
Okay, so to transform him into Dagarn, let's see here. We're going to take, actually, Mini the Dagarn out of here. Put this back together. And then, actually, what I'll do is I'll actually work on the Earth Fighter first. So, of course, we're going to unplug him from there. Take this part out. All right. And let's just deal with the torso here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take these guns off. Put those to the side. Those will come into play later. All right, and then what we're gonna do is flip him around. And then we're gonna take this piece and we're going to have that pushed in there. That's his arms, you can kind of start to see it come together. And then we're gonna take this part. This is actually just the part that's covering his face here. And then you're gonna take that, push this out just like that and then we're going to take that and push that back down in there and then slide that in there and there is his torso so these arms are actually on a ratchet so um, and then what we'll do is we'll actually take the wings these are the wings that will move and push those down just like that Okay, and so that is the front torso. So that is the body. And then actually what we'll do is we'll take these and we'll actually go ahead and take his arms and put those arms out there. So we'll take that, turn that around. I actually don't like this part, but I'll get into that reasons why later. And then take this, move that fist out just like that. Clamp that back in, boom. Okay, so that pretty much is his torso. So his torso is ready to go. Let's move on to his legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this ready. So we're gonna put this back down. We're gonna take this part. We're going to push that back down in there like that. We're gonna take this part, push that out, okay. Then take that, we're gonna take that back in just like that. Clamp that back in, push that back in. So now we're back back to regular train mode. Okay, now to do his legs, what we're going to do, we're gonna push these, pull these out. Like I said, you can use some force here, but not too much. All right, that joint is kind of tight there, okay? So this is his front skirt. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two sides here. All right, and then what you're gonna do Take that and push that to the back, just like that. And then you're gonna take the other side, just like this here, and then push that up, and that kind of folds on top of each other, just like that, okay? So, as you can see, and I, like I said earlier, he's pretty much just doing the splits. That's how the train part is. So you've got a hinge here and here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, move this down, Okay. All right, and you're starting to see them come together. So what you're gonna to take, do is take these red pieces here and you're gonna move those to the side. So you can kind of lift those up just a tad. And those are pretty much the side skirts. This is also where the Degarn blade comes out. So that goes up, that goes up, all right. So you've got it like that now. What you're gonna do for his feet. All right, we're gonna turn him over. We're gonna pull this out, okay? And then what he's got is he's actually got a mechanism that opens here. All right, so this part will come out, okay? And then you take this, push that down. Now, with this part here, I always use that as his heel, but this is actually supposed to be down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and have it down like that. Take this part, push that back in place. It doesn't really lock or anything, it just kind of rests on there. So, and then do the same with this. Okay, and then we're gonna take this part, open that up, take this out, push that down, push that back in, and those are his legs. So, 
All right, let's see if we can get them to stand correctly. Boom, all right, so there we go. Now, so we're going to do the midsection, and you can actually use two pieces here. So this is the guard, this is the actual torso piece. This is actually the, the piece that I actually use uh, most of the time than this one, just because uh, you're not gonna get much movement out of there, but I'll get into reasons why. Uh, but to me, this just looks better, right? But if we're gonna just do it based on the parts that we have in front of us, let's move this to the side and I'll do that one later. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this with him. So hold on here. All right, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take him and make him the, the midsection. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just bend this slightly, just so I can get my fingernail in here and pop this middle section up. So that kind of comes up. I think I got that up as high as, as I can. Okay, I'm just trying to get that to focus there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these legs out, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to kind of reset this back together. So push that back down. Okay, so the, the back is still the Lamborghini. And so what you've got is you've got these two pieces here. Remember where I talked about how he stabilizes? There's actually a little notch right there. So you're going to do that on both sides. And matter of fact, I think I got it right on the other side. Okay. And then what you're going to do is take this, the legs, and you're actually going to put those back over. And what they're going to do is they're actually going to uh, slide into these two holes there. Can you see that? All right. There we go. So what we're going to do is take that, reset in there, and it doesn't really like lock in there, it just kind of rests in there, okay? And matter of fact, that one got loose. Let me take this one, all right. And like I said, they don't lock in there, they just kind of rest there, so. But there you go, so that will become the torso there. So he kind of goes in there like that, okay. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the legs Put those to the side we're actually going to take this part and put this in to the torso so what you're going to do this doesn't really have like a place that it locks in uh, the lock is actually on the top here so what you're going to do is um you have to take this and push this in there kind of put that in there all the way you don't have to be real hard with it but there we go and then what it is is on this part let's see there's a little notch right here i don't know if i can show you that okay right there and then where my finger is and so what that's going to do is that's actually going to go into this piece right here there's a little slot there you take this and you're going to push that right in to that slot just like that that kind of keeps it in place I wouldn't necessarily say it's locked or anything. It's just kind of like friction or whatever. But as you see, he won't come out. So once you kind of got that set in there. So now that the body is done, now we're gonna take his legs. Let's move this back to the side here. Okay, now this is where things get interesting, okay? Because what you've got is you've got this back part here. And then what that's going to do is it's actually going to slide right where my thumb was, right in that, in that slot right there. And it literally just slides in there. That's pretty much what's keeping it together. So what it is, is actually what you wanna do is take this part and push this up. So, and it kinda goes, and then there's a little clamp in there, just kind of how the fighter mode was when he had the Degarn jet. So that's pretty much how you're gonna leave it. So just like that, and then take that, flip this up, okay? Just like that. And then what that does, that actually frees open this space here. And then we're gonna connect those two pieces together, just like that, and that'll slide in there. I'll try not to put too much pressure on it. All right, and then that locks just like that. And, there he is. That is the Garn X. So let me move this up here. And that is the Garn X. So 
that is what he looks like out of the box. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put on his anime accurate stuff. So we'll do that next. Okay, so in order to put his other anime, what I call the anime accurate parts, I don't know what they actually call it, but that's what I call it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get those things out. So those are the legs here. And then this midsection. This midsection is gonna replace where the Lamborghini is right now. So what we're going to do is pull this out and pull that out. All right, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the car out. All right, we'll put that to the side. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually work on his legs here. So what we're gonna do is gonna take these and we're gonna do just like we did with the other ones. So take that, push that in. All right, that one actually locks into place unlike the other one, okay? Push that down. So that's his leg. Now, for the legs, you wanna make sure that this, these two holes here, that those are facing outwards. And the reason why is because you're gonna put these parts on there, okay? So we got that, and then we're gonna do it this, the same way. And push that back in. That one actually doesn't lock, but the other one did, so. <laughs> but yeah, there's not really like any kind of locking mechanism or anything there, it just kind of just rest in there. That's what I've noticed with this kit, or with this figure, it's more just kind of like just regular friction. There's not like clamps or anything, not really, so. All right, so we got that. So those are his two legs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the, these legs off and we'll go back to this and pushing this out. There we go. All right, and see this one. All right, okay, so that locks that one. We're gonna take the other one out. Gotta finagle that sometimes. And push the other one back in. All right. Okay, and then you can actually take these and pull that leg down a little bit. That'll actually give them a little bit more uh, articulation in the ankle. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of articulation, but I'll get into that later. So uh, you got that part. Now, let's bring the torso back in. Okay. And so what you've got, and I showed this piece earlier, this is the front piece here. And so really, with this, there's not much that goes into this here. So you just kind of push this in there. There's actually, and it locks just like that. So there is a little locking mechanism on that part. And then we will take the torso. We're gonna slide that thing back in here. All right, so that goes back in there just like that. And then push that in, make sure that's locked in there. And boom. Now, I like this look a lot better than uh, with the other legs and the other torso, just because he just looks a little bit more anime accurate. So I'm trying to get him to, there we go. Let's see, let me get his torso there, all right. So I think we've got him the way that we want him, just like that. So that's what you've got. Now we'll get into articulation. Okay, so let's get into some articulation. First things first, I forgot in the last section, I was actually supposed to put this part on his legs. If I can get that to focus, there we go. So we push this back in, okay, and then that goes here. Okay, just like that. Same with this side. All right, now he's complete. Now, um, just based on looking this, at this with my eye, even with the, because uh, these are the upgraded hips, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that I have on him now. And he is kind of leaning just a tad bit to the left. Um, it may be hard to see on camera, but when I'm looking at it from my eye, it does kind of look like he doesn't stand totally straight up. Um, so, but 
it's not very noticeable. So, but you know, you've got, you've kind of got that issue there. And we're going to start getting into a lot of his issues uh, now that we're kind of getting into articulation. All right. So first things first for articulation, let's take a look at his head. Now his head can move 360 there. So you can kind of rotate that. It kind of looks like Optimus Prime there a little bit, but it can look down and up, but not super, not, you know, he's got some articulation there. So you can look up, look down like that. So you've kind of got that, but um, I've seen better. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and then for his shoulders, okay, this is on a ratchet. So this shoulder, as far as like his shoulder part, this actually is as far as it will go. And then his arm will go about that notch, just like that. And that's about it. Um, I would be scared to do anything else uh, higher than that without breaking it. So, because um, he does have a ratchet here, but it looks like that's as far as it goes. Okay, so you do have that. It does go in and out though, so it can go in and out. Let's see. So it gives you some movement there, but not a ton. Okay, and then at the bicep, you can turn this 360. So that's good, okay. And then what you've got is you do have an elbow bend here. Okay, just like that. Now, for his wrist, you're not gonna get much out of there. You're just not, There's, it hardly moves at all. So you're not gonna get anything. You know how the Kotobukiya would come in and out? Well, be, due to this mechanism here to where he transforms, right then you're not going to get any articulation here so unfortunately he does has almost zero wrist articulation and with the fact that his shoulders don't come out or in very much that is a problem so uh, his articulation is quite limited when it gets to his arms okay now we're going to go to the midsection now the midsection it's probably even worse. And the reason why is because if you remember how this connects, it connects in this, this slot right here in the back. And so because of how that connects together, you're not getting any articulation out of the midsection. You're just not. It won't turn. It can't go up and down. Nothing. You're not getting anything out of that. So that is extremely an unfortunate because Without it, honestly, he's 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 pretty much a brick. Uh, he just he looks good, but you know, without with limited articulation, like well, you know, it, it's pretty it's pretty pretty sad. And uh, there is no kind of uh, midsection articulation. The wrist articulation is quite limited. Now we can get into the legs. That's probably where he has the most articulation. And that's just because, probably just because of the the, uh, the train, how that goes. But as far as his legs go, now as far as his front skirt, it goes up about that high. And then kind of goes down. That's about, that's about as much as you're gonna get. Just like that. So not a ton, all right? And then you probably could have it go up some, uh, but because of this, because uh, of the plane part in the back, you're not really gonna be able to get much there. So. That's what you've got for the legs. And then for the uh, ankle articulation, just due to the design, you're not gonna get much there either. And I mean, you can kind of move side to side and up and down like that. But I mean, as far as having dynamic posing, you can kind of get them to do that a little bit, where you can kind of get them spread out like that. But uh, that's about it unfortunately. Um, can he do the splits? That is probably the one thing that he can do. All right, so what we can do, we're gonna move these up. Then what we're gonna do is take the side skirts, push those back down, kind of like would you, uh, when we were transforming him for the train, and then do that. That's probably the best ratchet on this, on this figure. 
And so, yes, he can do the splits. That is probably the best articulation you're going to get out of him in, on any piece of this, uh, of this figure, unfortunately. But, yes, so he can do the splits. So we can do that. And that ratchet is nice. It's nice and tight in there. I don't have a problem with the ratchet itself, per se. So, uh, but that's what you've got. All right. So let's try to get him in a different pose now for uh, his weapons. Um, he's got a couple and we kind of showed them before, but we're just going to do these real quick. So if you want to do the Earth Vulcan, all right, you're going to just take that, flip that over, have that in a point and shoot mode there and that pretty much is the earth vulcan all right so pretty simple uh, so you've got that now next the last move that he's got uh, that we can do is the earth breast buster so we'll do that real quick that's real simple so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna take this and push this back out so you can have his fist back all right and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this middle section. Now, actually, I do like the detail here, especially here. You can kind of see the earth, it's all like a, a mini globe. And you did see that in the show, so I do like that detail there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take this and this should flare out. So what I'm gonna do, just so I can grab it, take this part here, there we go. And move that back out, okay. And then we can actually put this back in here. Hold on. And kind of latch that back in. And there you have it. And it's got some detail in there. Um, so you've got the silver parts with the red there. I don't know if you can see that, but. So he's got that. And that would be kind of. All right, and so that would be the Earth Breast Buster. So that's what we've got for that. For the Dagarn Blade, you can use two hands. Now, the first set of hands I showed you earlier, this is actually the articulated fingers hands, or what they call it, anyway. And so what it does is it's actually got, let me pull this out here real quick. It's got a little slot here that you can put the sword in. And then that will go in there just like that. And then you can kind of grab it this way. Now, I actually don't <laughs> like these hands for this sword. Um, I just don't. Uh, it fits over it okay, but I don't see that hanging on to that long term, especially once you start fiddling with it. So, but what we'll do is we'll take this back out here, put this back in here his fist off, okay, and then put this, this one in there, and boom, there you go, so you got that. So that is the Dagarn blade, and could he hold it with two hands? No, <laughs> these, won't, these won't go, these arms won't go in enough. I mean, you can kind of have it to where it, you can kind of fake it, Whoops, that part comes off. And I actually think that part might be broken there. No, no, it's not broken. At least I don't think so. I think this was just, this part was just glued in there. And that's, be, you know, that hasn't come out, but it doesn't actually look broken. So, uh, anyways, but yeah, so you've got that part there. So, I guess if you kind of wanted to fake it, you could kind of get it to where he's kind of holding it just like that. Let me get one of these other uh, hands out here. All right, so we'll take this, pull that out, push this in, all right, and then you can kind of, you can kind of half fake it. So, but, the articulation, he just doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough in his wrist. He doesn't have enough in his shoulders. Um, he doesn't have enough to pull off this kind of pose. And especially since, especially with a lot of the Brave uh, series, all of them have swords. And so 
this can be a very hard pose to get where they're actually holding it with both hands. That's very hard on most figures, but this one, this one, it cannot do it at all. So, but yeah, so articulation kills this thing. It really, really does. So, but that's what you've got for that. And then we're going to actually do the earth cannon. Okay, so next up, we've got the earth cannon. So for the earth cannon, I'm just gonna take these two parts off of this legs there and then what you're going to do is you're going to take these and actually there's they just go together so they kind of go in like that okay and then what you can do take this part that'll be the the handle and let's see if we can get this out in there and then there's a side handle there and then you push these out Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the semi-articulated hands. So these here, and then, all right, there we go. So we got that. Okay, so he'll pretty much be holding it like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one out and push that to the side. Take this, push this back in there. All right, now, usually how you would use this, you would actually use two hands in the show to do this, all right? But just due to the lack of articulation, you're not gonna be able to get it um, to even try it. So that is very, very unfortunate. Um, but yeah, he just, he can't grab, he can't grab this other handle. So kind of have him out like that. And that's, that's it. So as far as articulation, his articulation to me, it's pretty much, it's pretty poor. Um, that kills this figure because it looks great, but he just, he just, he doesn't have the articulation that he needs. So, so last thoughts on this guy. Unfortunately, this one is a pass. There are too many problems with the articulation for the actual robot mode. Everything else is fine. So he looks great. He looks like Dagarn should look. Um, the transformation is pretty relatively simple and it's, you know, it, it, it's pretty good. Um, but where he lacks is he lacks as Dagarn. He lacks as the actual robot figure. And to me, that's why I have to give this like, I'm gonna say like a six, six and a half. Uh, now, I know that Good Smile, uh, they released the Dan Kuga. That one seems to be a little bit better as far as articulation is concerned. Um, it does have like an ab crunch and stuff like that, where this one kind of lacks that. Um, so I probably won't be getting the mic guy. I have to probably see it first or have it in hand and see if they've kind of fixed some of the problems that I saw with this Dagarn, which is very unfortunate because like I said, uh, he actually looks great. I don't really have any problems about, you know, from an aesthetic standpoint, uh, but it is, it's just his articulation is not very good. Now, if you have the old DX um, Brave kits, um, I know there's some people who actually prefer those over any of the new stuff that's coming out. I just call them purists, to be honest. But um, I think if you don't need him to be very articulated and that he's literally just going to be standing on your shelf, you know, in a pose similar to like what he's got right now, then this one is worth picking up. I, I don't know if I would say they're better than the old DXs. I don't actually own any of the old DXs. But um, I just think that unfortunately, as a modern figure, uh, the articulation leaves a lot to be de desired. So um, that's what I've got for you on this one. The next one, as this is probably going to be a multi-part uh, series, as I explained in one of my other videos, uh, I probably will be doing Gaon. 
and then I will do the uh, Degarn GX. But unfortunately, it's only gonna get worse from here because uh, if Degarn doesn't have any articulation, then as he gets into his combined form with Gaon, it's just gonna get worse. Uh, but yep, so that's what I've got for you today. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.